All right, my friends, welcome to another video here. Thank y'all so much for watching. Normally in my videos, I get right to the fishing and I barely talk at all. This one is gonna be just a little bit different. I do wanna talk a little more in this video just because I am, I am proud of myself for this video and catching this fish and just the amount of mental effort and critical thinking and time and energy that it took. You know, when it comes to fishing, I think there's so much skill involved, but skill only goes so far and then you have intuition. And I think that if you fish a lot, you know what I mean. Fishing just comes down to intuition and trusting your gut and just doing what you think is right. And lately I've been having a hard time with my intuition, just my intuition telling me to go this, go to this place and do this thing and just trusting that and not having it work out. And when it doesn't work out, it kind of makes you wonder, you know, should I trust my intuition? But today, one of those days where all I did was trust my intuition and having it pay off was awesome. And I'm so thankful for that and just reinforced that I should always trust my intuition. But what happened was I went to this pond and right off the bat, um, I'm throwing my little swim bait around and I see a huge fish just nip at my swim bait. Oh, did you see him? <gasps> Oh, did you see him? It was hard to see from the camera. He's a big, big boy down there. Like, he came up to it. He didn't even hit it. He just kind of swiped at it. I mean, he didn't even... He never touched the bait. He, he's big. He just nosed up to it and then, like, turned real sharply away from it. And that was like two feet from me. So that got me going. And I know that fish is there. I know it's there. So therefore I see that. I know I'm going to fish for that thing until I catch it. If it takes all day, I'm going to do it or two or three days, whatever it takes. Good Lord. No. No. Another old DD missed on the swim bait. Ugh. Crap on a stick. Did y'all see the size of that fish? We know she's here. We obviously scared her to death, but we didn't like catch her. She should come back. So we hook the thing and kind of hook it at least. Not really, it just kind of shakes it off. Might've had it for a half a second, if that, but got to see it and see how big it was. And at that point, I knew it was huge. Knew it was probably a, a 10 pound something, you know, um, and it was right in front of me, but it's probably gone. You know, um, I kind of reasoned with myself and think that I hooked it, but not bad. It didn't like freak out. It just kind of swam away. So it's probably going to come back. And so I sat there and continued fishing for quite some time and never saw it come back anything like that. So I moved on knowing I'll come back within a half hour. That's the mail. <coughs> That's the mail to the 10 pounder. So that happened. Thought maybe we would have had her for a second there, but the mail's right there. Might take all day to get this fish, but I'm sure gonna try. 
And so when I come back, I can kind of see where it's disturbing things in the water. And I uh, start casting swim bait and jig to it. And every time my lure gets near it, it just bounces. It just leaves. So I'm not too sure what to do. It's obviously spooked. It's obviously got its guard up a lot. So what I decided to do is just take a step back and literally sit down and just watch it and wait 10 minutes and sure enough after 10 minutes it comes back and I can never see the fish but I can see disturbance in the water from it kind of moving around. I can see every now and then I'll see its tail kind of come up for a half a second and what I can see is like its belly when it's turning sideways to kind of fan the bed or do something on the bed I can see that white flash. So I, I figure out exactly where it is and then I start planning my cast like extremely extremely carefully and I sat there for a long time. Oh, we caught her. We caught her. Oh, we caught her. Oh, that was so sick. Oh, I knew we could do it. Come on. Come on. I knew. Come on. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we did it. <sighs> oh. I knew we could do it. Two hours, two hours of trying. She hit the swim bait, we hooked her on the swim bait. She didn't stay pinned on the swim bait. I tried with the swim bait again for a long time, didn't get her to eat. Then I, I just saw her tail come up every now and then. Tried with the jig for a long, long time and could not get her to bite. So I stopped fishing for a probably a half hour and just watched her. I couldn't see her, but I could see water movement. I could see her tail. And every now and then I'd see, I'd see this flash. Like I'd see her do that and I could just see the flash. And then I put the jig right where I knew she'd be after about a half hour of studying her. And I left it there and I did it again and again and again for like, I don't know, 20 minutes. Finally got her to eat. She ate it. She didn't, she like actually ate it. Golly. What a fish, man. That's insane. Oh, she's so heavy. Look how far down that jig is. That was really cool. Sometimes I second guess my abilities as an angler. Think about leaving a fish. I'm sure glad I stayed. As long as I did to catch that one. That is just a freak of a bass. That is quite the fish. Look how tall she is from top to bottom. What a dream come true. It took so much time to catch her. Look at her go. Oh my gosh. Absolute favorite setup to be using right now. Cast King Mega Jaws Reel. Just has a bunch of power. Casts incredibly quickly. I don't know if you could tell by my little flips, but I can hit the water just about perfectly without making any disturbance with that reel. Cast King Speedyman Pro punching 711. That's what I'm using on that swim bait and that jig. And I mean, you could hear the sound of the hook set. Oh, we caught her. We set up right here is just perfect for like a one and a half, two ounce swim bait like I'm throwing or like a half ounce jig. Just a whole bunch of power, but I can still finesse it just a little bit. And um, I can turn the fish like you'll see in this video today. Just massive fish. I want to catch it as fast as I can. I'm not into playing. A double digit bass. I just want to land it and see it and let it go as quickly as I can. 20 pound tough line fluorocarbon absolutely perfect for feeling every little bite. So that was so much fun you know that was whatever a few hours ago and I'm still shaking from it. Um, it was just cool and it, it kind of gives me a blueprint for what to do when I see huge fish like that in muddy water like that. Just sometimes don't fish for them just watch them. And you'll learn a lot about exactly where they are and where that bed is and where that sweet spot on that bed could be to actually catch them. And with that one, I was just determined to kind of 
sit there and watch it for as long as it took and then fine tune my casting and then if I didn't work just watch it some more and then fine tune some more and just let it sit for however long it takes and sure enough that fish didn't just hit that jig I mean it inhaled it and we got that fish in um, got it back in the water super quickly and oh it was just awesome and like I said intuition paid off thankful for that Hope you guys enjoyed this one not sure what else to say but there's a bunch more huge bass coming hopefully we can catch one even bigger than that one soon appreciate y'all watching so much thank you very much and god bless <laughs>